People are probably very familiar with, with aspirin and the fact that it comes from the bark of the willow tree. They're also familiar with quinine and it comes from, from kinkona bark. So here at the University of Auckland, where we're looking to nature is we're looking at microorganisms that live in very, very extreme environments. Things like the microorganisms that live in the hot pools in Rotorua, but also um, in a lake in Montana that was an old copper mine, and that lake is a very, very highly acidic environment. It turns out the organisms that occupy that lake produce these really unusual compounds that have very potent anti-cancer activity. But the structures of these molecules are hugely complex, so only very, very good medicinal chemists can come along and make and recreate those molecules, and that's what we're doing here at the University of Auckland. We're also looking at shellfish toxins. The algae actually produce these amazing compounds that, that act on receptors in the brain. And what we're trying to do is recreate those molecules and study their interactions with the different receptors in the brain and improve on those interactions so we can develop new drugs for diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's and multiple sclerosis, which we know there is no cure for. We also had a lot of success in the commercial area. We worked for a company called Urine Pharmaceuticals and they'd come up with a compound that was produced in the brain that protects your brain cells, your neurons, from dying when you suffer from brain injury. So we went away and we made lots and lots of analogues, 120 different analogues of this molecule and made a better one. And that compound now, it's been developed by Nurin Pharmaceuticals. And the US Army have put $18 million US into funding a clinical trial in trauma centers all around the world to see whether this drug will work in humans. So medicinal chemists like myself would always be looking to nature to find that really good magic bullet to kill some major diseases. It's only a matter of time when we will actually uncover some really good molecules from nature's medicine chest that will allow us to cure some of these diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's.